comfortable before we get started. Well, hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Lily. For this week's crazy DIY challenge, we will be transforming a plastic bucket into a footstool. I am like crazy obsessed about this um, DIY because it doesn't only function as a footstool, you can also use it for storage, which is kind of nice because our little guy likes to play with Legos on the coffee table all the time and then he just kind of lets them sit there when he's not playing. So maybe for a change, he'll be storing them in it. So. Hopefully that'll work. But um, I also ended up going with like a bohemian theme with this whole footstool. I ended up using uh, a rug instead of fabric to cover it with. I hope you guys like that. If you guys aren't subscribed, and I feel like I say this every time, but if you aren't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a DIY because I have many more to come. Okay, let's jump right in. Okay, to make your trendy footstool, you'll need some heavy-duty hot glue, a stapler, some foam, some batting, a rag rug or your choice of fabric, a yardstick, a round wood circle, a needle, thread, chalk, three yards of felt fabric, and a small bucket. To begin, you'll need to start cutting your felt into four-inch strips. Then prep your bucket by removing the handle and start by gluing your fabric strips around your bucket to make it soft. If your bucket is like mine and it tapers in towards the bottom, then use more fabric towards the bottom of your bucket to even out the shape. We don't want it to taper in, we want the overall shape to be as even as possible. If your bucket is fairly even overall, you can get away with using one big piece of fabric instead of using strips to build its shape. Once you have your overall shape done, use your batting to add more fluffiness. Then take your wood circle and trace it onto your foam sheet. Keep in mind, your wood circle needs to be about one fourth of an inch to about half an inch bigger than the top of your bucket. That way, your lid won't fall through. Following that, cut your foam and secure it to the wood with some hot glue. And as with your bucket, add some batting for more fluffiness. This will give it a softer look. Following that, flip your bucket over and glue all the raw edges to the bottom as much as you can. This doesn't have to be perfect because you'll cover it with this round circle of fabric. Then measure out the height of your bucket and before cutting out your fabric, add at least 3 inches. We'll be using one end of your rug for the bottom of the bucket and the cut edges will go on the inside of your bucket. Once you cut your rug, it should fray pretty badly. That's why we made sure to cut a few inches longer. Take your glue gun and secure your edges on the rug, just so it stays together while working with it. Then cut off all your loose edges. Following that, prep your needle. I used a bigger needle and quadrupled my thread. You don't have to quadruple yours, doubling it should work just fine. My rug's width actually fit perfectly around my bucket. It was a nice tug fit. I'll go ahead and add a link for more info on what size my bucket and rug was. Following that, to finish off your bottom, secure all the edges to make it neater. Then, whatever is remaining on the top needs to be glued on the inside. Make sure you're giving it a nice tug fit. Then, use an additional piece of fabric to cover your edges on the inside. I ran out of fabric so I only used a thick strip and didn't cover the whole inside of my bucket. To make your lid, lay your padded wood circle on top of your rug. Trace a circle measuring about 5 inches wider. Then, use some hot glue to go over your traced circle. We don't want the edges to fall apart while cutting. When cutting your circle, don't cut too close to the glue. Following that, use your stapler to staple your rug around your lid. Give it a nice tight fit. Don't do too many staples because you'll be removing them after. Once you have an overall tight fit, add more staples one after another about one inch away from the edges of your lid. Following that, remove the staples you stapled in the center and unwrap your fabric. Cut off any excess fabric and staple down whatever is loose and sticking out. Then attach a circle of fabric to give it a nice neat finish. And that's it, let's see how this looks.
that's it for this DIY. I hope you guys liked it. Honestly, you guys, I was a bit sad cutting that rug now that I think about it because I liked it so much, but I do like it on the footstool and I don't regret cutting it. At least not yet. I hope you guys liked this DIY. If you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a DIY. Stay tuned for next week's DIY challenge. That's it for today, everyone. Bye. I was a bit sad cutting that rug because it gets... Oh my gosh. Where'd it go? Ah.